Leon LaSalle has been a rancher all his life. Oh, I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. I don't know, I'm 57, and so I've been doing it all my life, really. But with the dry climate, keeping his cattle has become an extreme challenge. Myself and everybody within hundreds of miles around me, I'm sure is thinking the same thing is what are we going to do? Ranchers have dealt with droughts and harsh conditions in the past. You prepare for the worst and you hope for the best. Drought affects many things, but for ranchers, it's affecting everything. We're, gonna, we're uh, nervous about the amount of water that's going to be available for the livestock for grazing. You can't prepare for a drought in a drought. The price of hay has skyrocketed. The hay, hay prices for, on the drought have been um, almost triple what we normal pay. Right now, you can expect to pay at least $300 for one ton of hay. One cow will eat around two tons per year. A rancher with, say, around 100 cows would end up paying 60000 every year in hay. We're not having a... Uh big economic boon in the ranching industry. We're struggling. Ranchers are worried about having to quit their way of life. This is going to be the last year we're going to be able to continue to keep our cattle. If, uh, if we don't get moisture, there's not going to be enough grass. There's not going to be any feed. Despite the concerns, they are hopeful that things will look up. That's why we kept the cattle and we fed them. We're the eternal optimist as ranchers that it's always going it, to, we always call it next year country, right? <laughs> next year it's going to be better. The calves are going to be bigger. And... Montana ranchers are taking it one day at a time, hoping to hold on. It's not over till it's over, I mean. <laughs> but it gives me a little bit more hope going forward that I can, uh, I can get to that next rainstorm. <laughs> In Hill County, Brianna Juno, MTN News.